Retailers have long sourced the products they sell from around the world. Tesco also provides an example of how leading retailers are increasingly operating in diverse markets as international retailers. Tesco has been very successful in building its brand identity in the UK and in building its market share in the UK. Market forces are such in this country that we can't expand any further in terms of our, of our share. And the UK market as such is one where we've got a high penetration in terms of grocery product but there are lots of other people who are dominant, dominant in the other areas. To expand outside of the UK in terms of, of global reach means that you can start to build economies of scale and some of the places that you would have to import product into the UK anyway, you can then get some of those cheaper products to those other countries. So logically, to start that expansion process would be the next step. You've got to make the decision, am I a domestic retailer or am I an international player? If I'm international, is it literally global reach or is it restricted to some parts of, of the globe? And that's all part of the strategic decision. At present, Tesco's overseas operations are concentrated in Eastern Europe and in Southeast Asia. We'll look at both. In Hungary, we'll examine the impact on existing retailers. In Thailand, we'll see what infrastructure Tesco need to support a developing supply chain. But we start in Korea. The Korean economy developed rapidly in the latter part of the 20th century and has been widely admired as a model for industrialization and as an advanced technological society. In modern Seoul, there are few physical vestiges of the Korean past. But if the buildings and infrastructure of transport and communications are 21st century, distinct Korean cultural traditions and preferences remain strong. They shape the way Tesco approach innovation in retailing. Traditional greetings aside, how is this overseas Tesco structured? In Korea, they operate a joint venture with the Korean company Samsung. Their stores operate under the trade name Home Plus. When Samsung started the retail business in 1996, um, many Samsung people traveled the, uh, the foreign country. Western countries, particularly. So um, they tried to know what retail will be for the future. They thought that's a hypermarket. So they built one store in Daegu, third largest city, was very successful. Again, they built another store in Busan, second largest city. It was also very successful. So the other retailers, I mean modern retailers, had confidence in this store format. And uh, Walmart and Carrefour came to Korea to open their sh stores. Samsung also had uh, difficulty in operation. Samsung didn't have uh, the experience in retail. So as the number of stores increased, you know, they uh, noticed that uh, we need more know-how and knowledge on retail. And also, uh, Samsung had difficulty in finance at the time. The financial difficulties experienced in most Southeast Asian economies in the late 1990s affected Korea, and these conditions led Samsung to seek a partner. They settled on Tesco. Tesco tried to uh, expand the retail business abroad. So already, they had. Tesco had office in Korea to research the possibility of the the 
and also Samsung uh, try to look for good partner for retailer at the same time. So we met, we met together. We started uh, 51 to 49 percent share participation, but Samsung sold their shares 30 percent to Tesco. There's already a variety of existing retail outlets in Korea. Nam Daemon Market in Seoul continues to thrive as a functional market, dealing not only with retail but also wholesale. There are several chains of street corner convenience stores offering basic goods. Some make a gesture to globalization with names that are accomplished puns in foreign languages. There's also a number of department stores in the European style. And Techno Mart, a short subway ride from the centre of Seoul, is an impressive array of electronic goods, repeated over eight storeys. This is the environment that Samsung Tesco operate within. <laughs>